We're talking about J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy. They're breaking down episode nine, filming in Jordan. That is wrapped up. They've been over there for a couple of weeks now. And uh, we're going to go do- deep into this one because a lot of characters that shot on this location. This is always one of my favorite things to talk about mm-hmm. when we talk about a new location. Because then there's that, that speculation about where could it actually be. Right. And I love that. Oh, Absolutely. I think there's a lot of potential here with Jordan. We'll dive into that uh, in just a minute, but I first want to go on and just kind of break down that we got this information from Roya News. So this is a local news agency, and they were able to score the exclusive interview with these, uh, with both J.J. and Kathleen Kennedy. So let's go take a look at that J.J. Abrams quote first. And that quote says, Wadi Rum is, ex- is breathtakingly beautiful and the perfect location for our film. I feel extremely fortunate to have been able to shoot in Jordan between the warm welcome from the government and the dedication and hard work of the local film professionals. We could not have had a better experience we are enormously grateful. And we'll follow this up with a quote from Kathleen Kennedy, who also expressed cat- uh, gratitude, I should say. She's producing the film, uh, duh. <laughs> and she also adds that uh, she also wants to thank the Royal Film Commission in Jordan, uh, the Army, whose tremendous support has been invaluable and helped make this shoot possible. There is a known factor with any kind of Star Wars property that is going to be shot in secrecy. And it looks like they had to have an army's help to keep the secrecy <laughs> around episode nine, mm-hmm. which makes me chuckle because that's how dedicated we are, Jesse, to keeping secrets here. Um, well, I mean, when I read that, um, I took two things from it. Okay. Uh, recently, you know, there was that theft on the set of The Mandalorian. That's right. So I think part of that, um, having the extra security probably is nice. And what was that? I don't think I heard about that one. They got um, like cables taken away, and there was like some properties. Um, there was yeah, there were some things that were hmm. were missing. Um, you know, not to dive horribly into politics, but I mean that is a region of unrest, of unrest and struggle and everything. So it's kind of glad to hear that that country also was potentially also just actually protecting the hmm. you know the the actors and directors and, mm-hmm. and everything that, while while they were there. So uh, no, I think that's re- really cool. I'm not geographically knowledgeable about Wadi Rum, like the area. I think it's pronounced Wadi Rum. Wadi Rum. Okay, mm-hmm. so thank you for the, the audio the audio correct. I, I think that that's a Wikipedia. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's a desert area. It's it's a place where you can shoot desert type things. We'll mm-hmm. go into guesses. I'm sure I know where this is going mm-hmm. anyways about what planet this is going to be for, but mm-hmm. uh, David, what do we know about the cast members that shot there? Because I believe we had uh, we had we had, Ridley, we, had uh, we had Ray, we right. had Finn, mm-hmm. we had Poe, we had Chewbacca, and we had three PO, and we also had Chewbacca's uh, 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 his wife in, in real life. Uh, Satarmo uh, is his last name, and oh, his wife was, was hanging out there too. She posted on Instagram. That's how we found okay. that one out. At, mm-hmm. But we're a, there has to be something major happening oh. in this location. That's the kind of that, point that's a picture with that's a picture with her and the donkey. Right. Yeah, she's okay. there with the donkey. Yep. But something big has to be happening here, right? Because if we have Basically, four fifths of the principal cast. Yep, seems like it's the uh, Millennium Falcon crew at this point. Um, most of them. Most of them. I, w- I wish they would have been like N nine num. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't make the noise that he makes in the, in the thing. Uh, so you ha- you know that you have most of the core characters for Episode Nine. They're together. They're in this place. They shot for multiple months. Mm-hmm. There is some speculation that we're going back to Tatooine here, mm-hmm. which is interesting because mm-hmm. there's also speculation that the Mandalorian is heading there too. Uh, some there's a theory. This this is a theory. Take it for what you want. I don't think it's a spoiler. Um, the idea that maybe they're going back to Tatooine to try and ransack Obi Wan's um, hut, lean to, mm-hmm. looking for instructions to build a lightsaber. Yeah, seems yeah. pretty. That, that, that's a pretty f- basic observation, just based on what we know from the Last Jedi. The Kyber crystal is broken. Lightsaber is broken. Ray's got that staff that should be a double light, a double sided lightsaber, but. Uh, we we do you buy into the whole like Tatooine thing, or you think this is just yeah? It's I mean, a, it's I, a new location. When I heard about this location, you know, I started researching it, and then immediately, you know, people were going, "Well, it could be Tatooine." And then, you know, yeah, my first thought was, "Well, I mean, if she's got a broken lightsaber. She kind of needs a lightsaber." Uh, would be, and I think it would be cool for maybe, you know, them to make a pit stop at a at Obi Wan's old place, assuming that it's. Hasn't already been ransacked by, I don't know, Tuscan Raiders or anything like that. Um, but, you know, in, in the old EU and everything, like Shadows of the Empire, mm-hmm. uh, Luke Luke goes to Obi-Wan's uh, house 
Um, and that's where he actually reconstructs, uh, you know, or constructs a new lightsaber and everything. Um, and there's actually a deleted scene in Return of the Jedi where Luke is kind of sitting in a kind of like a little cave and he's kind of tuning, fine tuning like uh, the lightsaber and everything like he just recently finished it or something. So I think we're heading back to Jack who. Really? If you mm-hmm. look at how Abrams did his first movie and how it was very parallel to uh, A New Hope, I think we're going to see a lot of parallel with this movie um, kind of wrapping up the trilogy like Return of the Jedi wrapped up the trilogy. And I think at some point we're going to be back on Jakku where this whole trilogy started. That'll be interesting because we've, t- we've heard it before that we're trying to, to wrap it up and include, you know, tie in all nine movies. I mean, make mm-hmm. it cohesive. And... I wonder if we'll get like another like final like crew shot where like everybody just kind of comes out and we're all in like Ewok Village and we're all just like, no, you're not buying on that, Jesse. Okay, well, yeah. you are gonna buy it. If they do that, I want the yub yub the yub nub song. We're, we're, we're not going nub, back to I, Endor. That's not I, happening. What do you mm-hmm. think? Do you think we're going back to Tatooine? Are we gonna see a lightsaber built in Episode Nine? What do you think about this part of production wrapping up? This shoot is wrapped up. Production in general has not wrapped. Let us know what you think down in the comments below.